Hi, this is David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell, the nation's leader in regenerative cell therapies. Today the topic is, what are the outcomes and potential complications after a total knee replacement? First of all, let's look at some numbers. In the United States, over 750,000 individuals annually undergo a total knee replacement. That number continues to go up and up every year. For instance, between 1998 and 2008, just 10 years, the rate of knee replacements doubled in the United States and it continues to increase. By the year 2030, experts estimate that there will be over 3.5 million knee replacements performed every year in the United States. So, what are the outcomes? Well, years ago, back in the early 2000s, we used to think that over 90% of individuals who underwent a total knee replacement would have an amazing outcome. In fact, it's often been cited as one of the top five quality of life improving procedures in the world. Well, unfortunately, we know that that's actually not the case. There have been several studies over the last 10 years, such as in the British Medical Journal, that show up to a third of individuals are not happy at all with their knee replacement after a year. An additional study in the British Medical Journal just a couple years ago showed that there really was minimal effect on quality of life in the vast majority of knee replacements. Half of knee replacements are done on individuals under the age of 65. So we know that not only did the study show a minimal quality of life improvement in those individuals, but it also showed that 35% of them will end up needing a knee replacement revision by the time you know they reach the end of life. The potential complications that you can see you know, in all the studies out there show there's a potential for infection, a little less than 1%, potential for blood clots, maybe a nerve or vascular injury, uh, could be that the implants that were put in might have been aligned improperly or they might be too large. If they're too large, it could inhibit the person's ability to get back effective full range of motion. Another unusual complication could be something called RSD, which is when the nerves around the knee are really overactive and it's very sensitive to the touch and very painful. The biggest problem that occurs over time is continued pain, like I said. And that's something that there's not a very good answer for, and there's numerous reasons why it can occur. But you have to understand that knee replacement is an end game procedure. People should really consider it as a last resort, an elective last resort, because it's not meant to restore completely normal anatomy of the knee. You should not make plans to try out for the Olympics after a knee replacement. That's not what it's meant for. There are lots of high impact activities you shouldn't perform after a knee replacement. So when you're actually considering whether or not to undergo a knee replacement, you should consider a regenerative cell therapy. Those are therapies that may include growth factors, exosomes, cytokines, stem cells, you know, a whole symphony of regenerative cells in the biologics that are available at our centers with R3 Stem Cell. Visit us online today at r3stemcell.com and then call us at 844-GET-STEM. We'll get you in at one of our centers nationwide for a free consultation. Thank you.